transfer in? It's not a specific time. It's just just a matter of when. And it just happens. You don't really time it up. You don't really think about it. But after a while, you'll be like, all right, I'm here. Like, I'm settled in now. So I can't tell you exactly when. Probably, like, a week and a half to win the camp. Because I got here, like, a week and a half before camp started. So. This isn't your first time as a transfer. Did you do anything special to, like, kind of build a rapport with your quarterbacks and those years? No, I didn't do anything special. Just come out, work with them as much as I can, get some extra work when I can. Like, that's really what I was doing the whole time, just and learning from them guys. Like, even though, like, I'm, I think I'm the oldest in the receiver room, I took a lot of information from the young guys because they've been around here longer. They understand how Coach got want things done. So I was just understanding them and just trying to listen to them a lot. And I still do that to, to this day. So. What was it like when you first got here? Um, it was just different. I was getting used to a lot of things that I didn't have at my previous school. Um, so just like getting adjusted to that specifically was like the biggest thing, getting ad adjusted to like different people, just just doing everything. Getting adjusted overall was the biggest thing for me. Like what kind of things? Um, facilities, like the people, like everything was completely different from the, my previous school. So it was just like, just into every little thing. Do you feel like you had everything here once you, you know, you're talking about facilities and then was it that huge of a difference? It was, it was honestly, like it was a big difference. So just having like the, the little whirlpool that I'm about to go get in a second, you in there, you just walk around there, you can walk in and walk out and you're done. Like it, it equates to your ice bath. So just little things like that. I think it was Janice who mentioned you were working through an ankle injury. You feel 100 percent now? Um, yeah, around that, around that 90, 95. This is a myth. Playing 100 percent, you don't play 100 percent when you play football. It's just what it is. It's fine though. Like <laughs> that's that's just not the case. But um, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm done. I don't really feel it. Um, on the the week one touchdown was that not the case? You say you was thinking about pulling you out for the game, and then Ronnie went down and yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Like no, nah, I was like I wasn't at 100 percent there, but I did what needed to be done. What is a receiver's perspective on a game like Saturday night when there's only, you know, a, a very finite amount of, of passes thrown? Um, we just got to execute better. And as, as a receiver core, just like overall with everything, we got to execute better. And when we ask, when we run the ball like that and we ask a block, we got to make sure we block. That's how I look at it. Like, we can we can be like, oh, we want the ball more. Let's make sure we execute what's being asked of us. Like, and like, don't bet for the ball. I've been taught that since a kid. Like, don't bet for the ball. Execute was asked to you. Everything to everything to play itself out. So that was just the thing for us. Is there more of an emphasis on wide receiver blocking here than maybe compared to, to your previous stops? Oh no. no. Yeah. Every every place I've been, blocking is you can't play without blocking. If you ain't blocking, you're not playing. So it's just something that I've like interpreted every stop that I've had. You're not playing. From your perspective, can you describe what you saw on the touchdown with JJ? How that play kind of unfolded? Okay, so I seen JJ roll out. Think about this. JJ takes risk. You know what I mean? And like I seen him kind of look at me, and I'm like, he probably gonna throw this ball. <laughs> so I started leaning over to go across the field. All I see is the ball just pop on this side. I said, oh, this is perfect. So I just nodded off of him, caught it, and took off. Did you do that stuff in practice, Bill? Yes, well, that is something that JJ would do in practice. <laughs> so I was ready for it. You said JJ takes risks. What's he like as a, a playmaker? I know it's one of the things that oh, a lot of people love about him. Playmaker, it. like without a question. Playmaker, energetic, got all the energy that you can have. But definitely a big playmaker. Mm -hmm. Just like using his legs to extend plays and things like that. In practice, how does he manage the fine line of doing just enough to be a playmaker and maybe doing too much to the point where he makes mistakes? Uh, like, he, he manages as well. Like, he just he just sees himself like, okay, I know what I, I, know what I can't get away with. I know what I can't get away with at, at, at the college level. You know what I mean? So he's doing, he's doing well in my heart. How would you describe yourself as a, as a receiver? I do everything, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Plays down the field, short plays, taking them, taking them the distance. Like, I feel like I could do a little bit of everything, honestly. Short hands, definitely a big thing for me. Catching, it's part of our job. It's the main part of our job. Catch the ball. So.